pair programmer from GitHub. It supports multiple languages and IDs. Let us see how GitHub Copilot enabled an Angular developer to complete his works quickly and efficiently. So let us move to a sa small application. Here I have an Angular application running. So it's a small pet shop application with a one home screen and few of the listing available here. And you can submit some feedbacks and I'm going back to the home screen. So I'm planning to add a login screen here. So let me open another terminal and go to pet shop and add a new component. So ng generate component login. Good, it's got added. And as you can see down, my copilot is enabled. Here the copilot symbol is there. It's uh, enabled and working. So the login component is added right now. I'm going to modify the login component with the help of copilot. So I'm forming a comment, whatever is required. So this is the comment block for the HTML page. Define a login dialog and I am going not with the forms model I am going with the ng model okay. I don't need a, a reactive form kind of thing instead going with the traditional ng model approach so as you can see the copilot start providing me the recommendations I'm just completing some of them and see how it's uh, completing the content well, it's added the actions as well. Mat card is done, and the card is also closed. So NDR uh, HTML is done. So I'm going to save it, and uh, I need to define these methods and the models behind the screen. So going to the component to define it. Okay, it is a username. It is string. And uh, let me initialize with the quotes. And we have a password defined. Okay, that is again a string with initialization. And apart from that, we need this login method. So as of now, I am not going to implement the login. So let me just add it for completion of code compile area. So the login component is ready. Now I'm planning to plug that as part of my top navigator, maybe after this one. So let me go to the header, HTML. So I have all these links here, buttons here. I'm asking, again, copilot. Add the icon for login. So let me see how it helps. So it's added an icon and the corresponding method as well. It's an account circle icon is added and there is an open login dialog method is also added. So I'm going back to the back end of the this method to open it. So let me either I can give a comment here define a function open dialog to open login component in a dialog so it start giving the suggestions I'm just up, taking it up and let me just change it to my login component okay now it's automatically added the login component dot top as well so the complete activity is done I think it's automatically built also completed successfully and I'm going to refresh the screen so you can see the icon is added and it's invoked a dialog and inside that a proper login setup. The form is rendered properly with the username, password and login button. If I need uh, further improvements on this one, I can ask the copilot to give the things up. So it's hardly taken five minutes to create a one component, complete design is done code behind and integrated with a header components with the proper functionality and invoke the same. So how quickly you can use the copilot to efficiently complete your work 
and obviously as a developer i am taking the decisions or control i change some of the elements if i need the width to be not 650 i can change it to my requirements and save it and see it whether it's uh, coming properly so now it is changed to a small area so that's all from this video thank you all